Peter Anderson is my name. I'm a private detective. I was hired to investigate a murder in the mountain area of Colorado. I can't say where exactly because of confidential issues. Anyway, the house is facing a big city, a nice view. It would have been nicer if the house didn't seem so far away from it though. The city police were already there, family wanted to keep quiet. Too more specific, the murder to be kept quiet. They wanted the culprit to be caught fast. That's why they called me. I showed the police my badge and they led me to the family room where the mother and father were waiting for me. Again, I won't say their names because of confidential issues. When I asked the parents when or what happened, they told me it occurred about two days ago. The mother was crying, too hard for me to understand. I mainly talked to her, to the father. He showed me around the house to start. It was simple. The kind of house you would expect. It had an eerie feeling to it though. Maybe it was just because I knew someone died here, but my gut was telling me it was something horrible. The main concern was to see the crime scene their daughter's bedroom. The first thing I could say about the girl was that she really loved pink. The curtains were pink, the bed sheets were pink, even the vanity was pink. The only thing that wasn't pink was the carpet. Sadly, it was a bright fluffy white. I say sadly because of the highly noticeable blood stain on the floor. One thing I took note of was the fact that the killer was pretty clean compared to most of the others. There was blood, but very little compared to most crime scenes I've been to. Another thing was I took to notice was the bloody needle that stained white thread on the vanity. I highly doubt the daughter was the cause of that. The mirror was broken. It was as if someone had taken their fist to it. The daughter was only seven, so I don't think she would be able to do that. That was when I finally asked the father about the cause of death. I had heard some pretty sick things in my life, but I wasn't prepared for what the father had to tell me. It was morning when the mom found her daughter dead. The girl was found in the fetal position on the floor with a paper bag over her face. There were eyes and a smiley face cut into the bag. The mom thought it was just the game her daughter was playing, so she took the bag off. Her daughter's eyes were sewn shut. The mouth was cut open and made a smile and also sewn shut. Disgusting, I know. I was a bit relieved that the police had took the body away before I could get a look at it. The mother said he only saw a peak of his daughter's body, so he didn't know if there was any further abuse. That was when he handed me this pink fluffy diary. You know, the kind with feathers all over the cover. One thing was for sure. I knew what I was going to do tonight. I got back to my room about 8.30. I ordered a pizza a few minutes ago. I sat on the creaky hotel bed and began to read. Dear diary, mom got mad at me today so I had to stay in my bedroom. Great, I'm wasting my time. So I thought the next couple of days we just were just normal days for a little girl. So this girl got grounded a lot more than most kids. But I didn't care to read much about it. Then when that's when I saw an entry that caught my eye. Dear diary, I got grounded again. Mommy said I'm a bad girl. Mommy should just die. Harsh. I met someone outside my window today. He's funny looking. He wears this thing over his head. It has black eyes and a big smile. The smile had this funny thread that was sewn into in an X pattern. The mask had point on it which kind of reminded me of those ghosts they show 
around Halloween time. He said he was sad because he didn't have any friends. So I told him I would be his friend and I had and I let him play tea party with me. Black hoodie on it. There was a white X on it where the heart will be. I asked him about it. He said it was because he didn't have a heart. He said to call it Boo. I asked him about the red ribbon he was wearing around his neck. He said he wore it because he thought it was pretty and it kept his mask from coming off. Dear Diary, Boo came back to play tea again. He brought up me a ball, but it had a string on its eyes and mouth, so I didn't like it very much, but Mommy thought, taught me manners, so I just said thank you, gave him a big hug. Dear Diary, Mommy asked why I was acting up lately. I told her it was, that it was so that I could see Boo. Mommy asked who Boo was, and I just said he was my friend. Dear Diary, Boo told me not to tell Mommy that he played games with me. I asked why, and he said it was that it was because he was playing hide and seek with Mommy, and that he was hiding, and he didn't want Mommy to know that he was here because he didn't want to lose the game. Dear Diary, it was really hot today, so Boo took off his hoodie. He was wearing a really baggy red shirt. His arms had bandages on them. He was wearing black gloves. No wonder Bo was hot. He wouldn't take off his mask either. And I asked, when I asked him about the bandages, he ignored me. Dear diary, Boo was really mad at me. I tried to take off Boo's mask. This is really hot again. He got really mad at me. He said that if I ever tried to do that again, he would make me look pretty. It was the strangest threat I've ever heard. Dear diary, Boo didn't come today. He's still mad at me. Dear diary, I've been acting really badly late so that I would send <laughs> get sent to my bedroom. But Boo didn't come. Dear diary, I've been acting good today so that I could go to aquarium. I saw all kinds of fish there. I brought the red shark doll. In your diary, he was really mad at me because I went to see aquarium and didn't come and see him. He seemed happier once I gave him the shark doll. <laughs> he, sued it, he sued its mouth shut. He asked him why he did it that and he said because he he thought it was pretty. He uses that word a lot. Dear Diary, you said that when I go to sleep tonight, he's going to make me look pretty. I asked if he was going to make me look like the shark doll I gave him. He said no, but he would make me look even better. I'm so excited I, that I can't sleep. That was where the entry cut off. I decided to flip around to see if there was anything I might have missed. There was. It was delicately, delicately written in blood with something sharp. It was most likely from the Boo character. Nighty night. There is scratching at the window. It's probably just a bird or something. I know who killed her now. The only question was how do I find him? I decided it was time to take a nap. I turned off the lamp and laid down. The scratching had stopped. The room became so quiet you could hear a pin drop. Weird. Was that the faucet turning on in the bathroom? Creepy. I went to the bathroom to turn off the faucet. When I got closer to the bathroom, it suddenly turned off. That's when the scratching began again. Shit, I'm freaking out. I started to hear some whispering. Nighty night. Nighty night. The scratching has turned into pounding. I'm going to go check the window. I know for sure that's not the pizza guy. 